In this video, we will be talking about Askov, which is a small farming community with its population mostly comprising people of Danish origin. A survey was conducted on the people living here from 1943 to 1946, which showed extremely high rates of dental caries. So, to counter this, during the period from 1949 to 1957, the Division of Dental Health of Minnesota, along with the Departments of Health, supervised a demonstration of a school dental health program, the curriculum of which included caries prevention and control, dental health education, along with dental care. During this program, all the known methods for preventing caries were employed with the exception of communal water fluoridation. You might wonder why such a key component for the prevention of caries was not taken up. Well, this was because the concept of community water fluoridation in Askov came into use only after 1955, while this dental demonstration program had taken shape way back in 1949. Five dentists from nearby communities were employed by the Minnesota Department of Health. These dentists subjected the people participating to topical fluoride treatment as well as any other dental care whenever necessary. After a period of 10 years, four main findings were noted. A 28% reduction was noted in cases of caries occurring in deciduous teeth of children aged 3 to 5 years. Caries in the permanent teeth of children 6 to 12 years of age were noted to be reduced by 34%. A 14% reduction in carious lesions was also noted in the permanent teeth of children aged between 13 to 17 years. Lastly, improvement in the filled tooth ratio due to the awareness generated and dental services provided was also observed. Other than these, the program also proved to be fruitful in providing the benefits of good health and diet for the children to carry on to adult life. However, this program had two major setbacks. First, the cost of conducting this program was extremely high. Second, when compared to water fluoridation, the caries reduction through this program was however noted to be small. In any case, note that water fluoridation is not a substitute for such a program. Good health habits are valuable even for people who are resistant to dental caries, for example, people with fluorosis. Remember, dental care is needed even for people living in fluoridated areas. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.